It was a grey, cloudy day on the island of Sodor. Percy was taking Alfie and Jack to Kronk Station. Jack and his friends were going to prepare the site for a new repair shed. But rain had made the site a muddy, mucky mess. Mud can be dangerous, warned Miss Jenny, so remember... Safety first, said Byron proudly. And that means no carelessness, Max and Monty. Yes, Miss Jenny, they clattered. Jack and Alfie were having a wonderful time. Alfie liked mud, and this was the muddiest mud he had ever seen. Mud, glorious mud! Alfie shouted as he spun around. Byron was working very carefully. His cuts were straight and precise. Look at that, he chucked. A work of art. But no one noticed how carefully Byron was working. Max and Monty were still up to no good. Push my buffers, cried Percy. What do you think of my trench, Oliver? Byron asked proudly. But Oliver didn't answer. He was too busy trying not to sink in the mud. Oh! Byron was upset. He wanted someone, anyone, to say, well done. Max and Monty were still up to no good. Ready, go! Watch out, shouted Alfie. But it was too late. Max broke the water supply pipe. Water gushed everywhere. Suddenly, Alfie was sinking into a muddy hole. Help! He cried. I'll get him, clattered Jack. No, shouted the foreman. You'll get stuck too. A workman shut off the water, but there was no way Alfie could get himself out. Byron, Miss Jenny cried. Can you help Alfie? I'm coming, Alfie, he shouted. Byron could see Alfie was sinking in the mud. Grab my blade, called Byron. Alfie reached out. I can't reach it, he cried. Careful, Byron, shouted Miss Jenny. Careful, you'll sing too. But Byron inched closer and closer and closer. Miss Jenny was worried. I've got it, shouted Alfie. Hold on, cried Byron. Come on, Byron, Kelly whispered. Byron struggled and pulled and strained. At last, Byron pulled Alfie to safety. Alfie was happy to be out of the mud, and Percy was glad his friend was safe. Well done, Byron, he said. Yes, well done, said the foreman. Well done, shouted Kelly. Well done, shouted everyone. Byron was proud. He had more well dones than he knew what to do with. That night at the yards, Miss Jenny had stern words for Max and Monty. You'll be spending the next three days in your sheds, she said, and you should be ashamed of yourselves. You could have seriously hurt someone with your carelessness. We're sorry, Miss Jenny, said Monty and Max, and they truly were.